going on, everybody? And um, welcome back to the channel. Now, today, hey, we are back with something, well, a bit of a new concept here on the channel. Of course, if you are someone that is, you know, been watching for a little bit, we have done some videos like this where we've graded players, graded teams, cricket kits, stadiums, all of that good stuff. But today, as you all might know, if, if, if you're not living under a rock and you are a big cricket fan, the IPL season 2023 has been going. Each team has played three to four games now. So we've got a big sample, well, a good enough sample size to now run through the teams and put them in a bracket of where we think the rest of their season is going to go. So, hey, if you are new around here, subscribe, leave a like and comment down below who your team is, how your team's going. And if you disagree with uh, any of the picks I make here, comment them down below. We can't always be right. And of course, on this channel, we do not have any filter. You know, we're going to be as honest as possible. I'm sorry if it hurts team's feelings, but it's not what we're here to do. We're here to grade them to a T. So let's get straight into it. The power rankings, I will leave um, this link in the description if you want to try it for yourself. And you know, how, if you want to follow along and, you know, tweet at me, your own power rankings each week because I'm probably going to try and do this at, at least once a week. Uh, and, and yeah, I think this will be fun. So, hey, we're just going to hop straight into it. All the teams, all the brackets, and a random photo that for some reason snuck its way in down the bottom. I don't know how the fuck it got there, but anyway. <laughs> all right, the brackets here. Starting off, team to beat. Makes sense. Looking good. That also makes sense. A jury's out. So that's more like a 50-50 decision. They're kind of in the middle. We don't know where they kind of sit at the moment. And then it gets into dangerous areas where you do not want to be. We've got mum. Pick me up, I'm scared. So that, you know, that makes sense. Teams are scared. And then, <laughs> oh no. I think we know who's going to go into that last position down there. Donation wins. So... Yeah, this could be interesting. Let's jump straight into it. CSK right off the bat. I think they're, they're what are they? Fifth? So we do have the uh, the stats and all of that good shit up here just for any reference or uh, orange cap, purple cap, just to, you know, just you can't remember everything in every game that has been played. So CSK are sitting fifth. They've got the two wins. One was uh, against... LSG in a really high scoring game in Chennai and then the other one was against Mumbai at Wang Keddy. Of course they did lose the opening game of the season to GT, but if 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 the website lets me uh click on it here. We will wait. Thank you, Australian Internet. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So you go down, I'm very sure, right? Yeah, so they had that big game in Chennai, and then they lost that first game to GT. So to be honest. They probably almost deserve to go here. I mean, sorry, they probably deserve to almost go here because you still kind of don't know. But I think, you know, they beat Lucknow. Lucknow are first. They've scored over 200 runs. Moeen Ali's looking good. Jadu's back in some form. Uh, obviously, Rudaraj Gaikwad has been bloody terrific so far. Deepak Chaha's injured, so we'll see how that goes, you know. They're getting guys like Desh Pandey to stand up, which is uh, a little bit risky. But, you know, he has looked all right. And when they've got guys like Ben Stokes, of course, who has done absolutely fucking nothing so far, and the fact that he can still stand up and do something. They've got Jadeja. Conway hasn't had to do a lot yet. So, Ryder's in there. Like, they've, they've got a great squad, a lot of experience. They've got a few youngsters. They've got Paddy Rana and Mahesh Thikshana also coming in in the next few days. So, in saying that, I feel like they look really good. Uh, they should make the top five. Well, they should make the top four, and they should be playing in the playoffs at the end of the season. Yeah, they are looking really good. And when your team has Dhoni, it's, it, I mean, it's hard not to put them... Or to doubt them at all, is it? So let's let's uh let's go to the statistics real quick. Because other than that, which CSK guys are actually near the top? Let's have a look. So Gaikwood will be there. Yep, Gaikwood. And then other than that, there's really been no one who's made bulk runs for CSK so far. Wickets. I assume. Did I press on it? No. I, I assume that man uh, Moen Ali is probably somewhere near the top. Tushar Deshpande is their biggest wicket taker with five wickets. Oh, the man. And then Moeen Ali and then Jardu, of course. So, yeah, I feel like they've got some big improvement to come as well. 
and they still haven't looked their best yet. So I think they go there. Oh boy, this one's going to be a pretty easy one. The Dally Capitals under the man, Ricky Ponting. I like that team. You guys know, Dally have a special place for me because they have Ricky Ponting. They have David Warner. You know, they're an Australian sort of team. Mitchell Marsh is there as well. They represent the Aussies good over there. Marcus Stoinis used to be there. Uh... A few, a few more other Australians we don't care about. But look, <laughs> they've, they've all been there. Their team's actually always been pretty solid, but they lost Rishab, of course, before the season due to that crash. And um, yeah, losing your captain, never ideal. You're losing one of the best wicketkeeper batsmen in the league. And um, yeah, it's a big loss. And look, as good as David Warner's been, he's I think he's top five in the orange cap right now. It's just not enough. And Pritby Shaw's done fucking nothing. Um, Nordic, he has just been out there. But look, they're, they're needing a bit of help. Uh, Aksar Patel's been okay. Like, they've just... Mitch Marsh has then gone away for a week for a wedding. So they've had to use guys like Manish Pandey, Lalit Yadav. It's just not it. And to be honest, they're bowling. Like, they've got Makesh Kumar, Ishant Sharma. Unfortunately, they just don't have a very... How do I put this nicely? Not a very good team, to be honest. Like, it's just... It's disappointing, to be honest, so far. And I know Ricky would feel that way. They don't even have one guy in the top 20 for the purple cap. So that probably tells you everything you need to know there. Donation win. Uh, yeah. Salvation Army right there. That's... that's are they ever going to get a win? I don't know. Who are they going to get their first win against? It'll probably be against Punjab, and uh, that would make sense. All right. The third team on the list, the Gujarat Titans, the reigning champions. They've actually been pretty good so far as well, starting off this season. We'll jump onto the points table. They're what, second or third? Fourth, so pretty much the same thing. They've had those two wins. They had the one loss. Who did they lose to? Oh, they lost to, of course, King Rinku Singh the other night. <laughs> yes, how could I forget, of course, King Rinku did give them their first loss. And to be honest, they should have won that, obviously. And just some absolute magic from Rinku finished that one off for, the, for them. So they did get their first loss. But, you know, Hardik has done absolutely nothing this season. Shami has been quite good. Um, Dayal obviously hasn't been at his best. Saha hasn't been that good. Uh, they have had a, a young guy in uh, Sysur Darson who has been quite good. The man VJ Shankar somehow has fucking 119 runs. Of course, he hit that nice 63 not out the other day. Shutman Gill has been pretty decent um, and like that. And, you know, I think they're feeling pretty solid down there at, at Gujarat, to be honest. They had that one loss. But other than that, very solid. Let's have a look at the wickets. Rashid Khan, Shami, Alzari Joseph, like they're, they're, everyone in their team's participating except for really the captain, Hardik Pandya. And when your best player has not done anything yet, you're feeling good. So look, they go right there for now. I almost put them in team to beat, but just because Rinku killed them the other night, I'm going to put them in uh, looking good now. Now we get into one of my, fa my, my favorite teams. Not my favorite, settle down. But one of my favorite teams to watch, you know, the purple and gold, the colors are beautiful. Eden Gardens is beautiful. Rinku Singh is beautiful. They have a lot of good, good people there. And you know what? My predictions before the season, I did not have them going that well. I thought, you know what? Rinku's going to carry. It's going to be tough. Natish Rana's going to have to do a lot. They've been really good. They have been really, really good so far. They are two and one. Um, and we have a look at the points table. They're second or third at the moment. I hope. Yet yeah, they're third. So they've had those two wins. They started off pretty shaky. They had a, a bad loss early, didn't they? To, uh, to Punjab, I think it was. Where the hell have I gone here? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a minute. This is not what I wanted. Results. I don't know why the IPL website makes me do this, but... I'll wait. Thank you very much. Thank you, IPL. All right, so their first and only loss was to Punjab, where we absolutely smacked them down there in Mahali. Um, and, of course, the rain did come on towards the end. But other than that, they've been <laughs> bloody solid. They had that crazy win, of course, 
um, against LS LSG. They had that crazy win against the Titans, and then they completely smacked RCB down there the other night as well. So plenty happening, actually, for Kolkata. They've been such an entertaining team to watch, and they have to go in there as well. You know what? I thought I would have had them in either here or here. There, there, for sure. Because, oh, hold on a minute. Because <laughs> they look good. Natish Rana, again, hasn't had to do a lot. Andre Russell hasn't been that good yet. Sonny Narine hasn't been outstanding. Umesh hasn't been that great either. So they have some guys who are... Siyah Sharma has just come on the scene. He's been fantastic. So it's next guy up mentality for KKR. And to be honest, they're looking really good. They are looking very, very good. Of course, they did go down to the mighty PBKS. But that happens, you know. That happens. You're allowed to lose a game. All right. Into the luck now. Super Giants. And yeah, this is a pretty easy one for me, I would have thought. Team 2 beat at the moment. Look, and again, people might be thinking, as we wait for the points table, just just wait wait with me. <laughs> um, they, are the, they do have a loss as well. So they did lose to CSK in that high-scoring encounter in Chennai. It was a really good game, that as well. It was some big scores that came out of that one. And yeah, they did lose. But I still feel like every time I've watched them, they feel the most balanced. Them and Gujarat, in my opinion, are the most balanced two teams with depth and just overall, I feel strength on every single line. Like there isn't a massive weakness in some part of the team. So to be honest, I would probably have Gujarat and Lucknow there, but King Rinku, he embarrassed Gujarat, so I'm not putting them there. And Lucknow have been fantastic. And the fact that one of their best internationals, Quinton de Kock, has not even played yet. Is scary, crazy. Kyle Mayers has been dominating the first few games. He's been down a little bit, but that's good depth to have. You know, it's good when you're keeping de Kock out of the team. Stoinis, Paran's been on fire. Uh, Bedoni's a young star. Obviously, no Mosi and Khan is a big disappointment for them, but they've got next guys up. So, Jadev Unad cut Mark Wood. Uh, who else plays for them? <laughs> I can't remember. I'm forgetting. Obviously, look, you know, a lot of IPL, a lot of knowledge floating around in the brain. But you have a look here at the runs uh, for luck now. Paran Mayers has been fantastic. I love Kyle Mayers, man. Stoin, big Hulk daddy up there. And then in the wickets, I assume will be a guy like Mark Wood sitting at the top. Yep, yeah, so he is... I mean, they've got the orange... Uh, the, the orange. The purple cap leader at the moment. KL Rahul has done absolutely fucking nothing as well. Their, their captain's done nothing, and they are still probably the best team in the league. So they've got, you know, Bishnoi is at the top there as well. He's been fantastic. Former Punjab Kings legend, of course. So, yeah, justify that one, I think. They are definitely the team to beat. And Deepak Huda as well. Huda's done nothing so far. The cock will come back. KL will start hitting some runs. They've got a great team. And um, yeah, very, very good. And if they had Mosin Khan, I don't know how the fuck you would beat them. Like, they would have such a solid bowling lineup. It, 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 yeah. You know, they wouldn't have to rely on a guy like Jadev Unidkut to actually play that much. <laughs> Okay, the next team, the Mumbai Indians. Now, this is a tough one because they did win a game last night against the Delhi Capitals. It was actually a good game, but I think the fact is that they're only just beating the worst team in the competition. It probably makes sense where I'm going to put them. And, uh, yeah. Mum picked me up. I'm scared. So, look, Mama Ambani or, you know, someone go pick them up. They need to get picked up. They're not feeling too well now. They did look better last night. Rowett looked better. Ishan's looked better. Cam Green's looked better. Uh, Tim David didn't even fucking play, so that was surprising. Uh, they, they've got guys like Stubbs, DeWild Brevis, Jofra, who didn't play last night either. So I don't know what the go is with Jofra. They've got Meredith in there now. Uh, Heretic Shakeen, I'm, I'm a big fan of his. I like what he brings. The only problem at the moment, I feel like, for them is definitely Surya Kumar Yadav. He's a guy who holds that glue in that fourth, third, fifth around um, in that Mumbai team. And uh, they're lacking someone in that part at the moment. 
but it's just going to go down. They're also, you're not getting a whole lot through the, through the tail end at the moment. You have a look at the orange cat. They don't have, oh no, Talak Varma. How could I forget Talak Varma? He has been fantastic. And of course, that one innings that he played against um, RCB at Chinnaswamy was arguably my favorite knock so far this year. So he's been fantastic for them so far. Really been carrying that, uh, that team at the moment for the batting. And we'll jump into the bowlers. I don't know if they have many near the top. I wouldn't have thought. Nah, not really. They don't They don't have... Oh, <laughs> the man, Piyush Chwola, is 18th on this list with four wickets. So, hey, respect the GOAT. He's actually been pretty decent, him, um, you know, playing. You know, I would rather watch a guy like Haridic Shakin, but I guess, you know, you do you, Rohit Sharma. You pick whoever you want. But, yeah, makes sense there. The Punjab Kings, baby, my team. All right, now, this is a weird one, so... You know what? We are looking good. But we had we had a really bad loss the other day to, to SRH. And if it wasn't for Shikadawan, we would have been bowled out for under 110. So that's not a good team. That's not a team that's looking good. But in saying that, you can't just forget our first two games. We were dominant. And so I'm going to have to go with team... No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm going to go with looking good for now. For now. Just for now, I'm feeling, you know what? I'm feeling like I could almost put us here. And then I would almost put either a CSK or Kolkata here. But I feel like that's a bit unfair because the teams are both two and one. Now, that doesn't make a lot of sense. But it's just from my personal feeling of watching it. Rabada's going to come back in. Uh, Sam Curran's been good. Arshdeep's been good. Prab Simran's been exciting. Shikadawan's been obviously amazing. Top of the orange cap right now, averaging a 225. Sir Shika, uh, Shah Rukh Khan. I mean, he's got to get better. Rahul Chaha hasn't been that good. So we've got some areas of improvement. Liam Livingston has to come into the team. Uh, Raza, I think I already spoke about him, but yeah, he's done nothing. Uh, Matt Short hasn't had to do anything yet. So. Jitesh Sharma hasn't had to do a lot either. So we've got some big improvement left in us. Do I feel like we are one of the best teams? Not at all. I never. I don't feel confident with us at all. But yeah, by the end of the season, it would not surprise me if we're here or here. But for now, I think we're there. And I'm, you know, I'm just going to leave it as that. I don't want to talk up my team and then they do nothing. <laughs> All right, into the Rajasthan Royals now. Interesting one, isn't it? This is a really, really interesting one. Let's go to the points table. They are second, right? Yes, they are. They are second, so. Ah, uh, this, I don't know with Rajasthan. How do you guys feel about them? So they've got Sanju. Butler's amazing. Jaiswal's been amazing. Um, Jarrell's, you know, coming on. They've got someone like that. Obviously, Yuzi's doing his thing. Ashwin's doing his thing. They haven't even played a guy like Adam Zampa yet. They've got Hetmeyer. Their team's just as good as it gets, to be honest. I don't... I, I, I think back to... I think in my predictions video, I had them, like, sixth. Which, now looking back at it, I don't feel good about that. I don't know why the fuck I did that. Because Butler, Jais Wall... My Samson. So they've got four guys in the top 20 already, which is already you're feeling quite strong about that. And then you go to the purple cap. That man, Yuzi, is second. Uh, and Ashwin's probably... Oh, no, Trent Bolt, who has been dominating opening overs of the game, the power play at the moment. And then you've got Ashwin. They're a team to beat for mine at the moment, I think. Yeah, I was a little bit worried. I thought maybe last season they were just, you know... They, they went a bit early, like they did a bit too much and they surprised everyone and now everyone will know how to play them. But it seems like no one's learnt how to actually bowl to Joe's Butler. No one knows how to actually bowl to Jaiswal either. It seems like the man's just gone away in domestic cricket for 12 months and we know that he's been peeling off double hundreds in first class cricket, but fuck, he looks good, Jaiswal. He looks like a 300 game veteran talent out there like it, he it's probably a weird comparison because they don't really place the same at all but he reminds me of Rishabh Payan 
just be due to the aggression, the nature of a few of his shots. That's just what it reminds me of. Not in the, the form or the way that they play, just, just the way they kind of both go about it a little bit. But yeah, Rajasthan, team to beat. All right, the last two teams, RCB and SRH. So RCB now. Hmm. This is a tough one to grade. And you know what? I think I'm pretty confident with doing this with RCB. The jury is out on them. So one win started off the season fantastic. They looked like Faf and Virat Kohli were never going to go out ever again. Like that's what it felt like. <laughs> like they dominated that first game in Chinnaswamy. It was beautiful to watch. I think it was against Mumbai, if I remember correctly. And ever since then... It's been two pretty poor losses for them. Two two losses that they've been done. Well, one that was quite a tight game, obviously, with the missed man cat at the end. But you've also had one game where they did get smacked around in it. So they are one and two. Let's have a look at their next few games to see how difficult they may be. Any moment. <laughs> Any moment now. Hold on. Uh, so they play Dally, which you would assume they win that, right? And they play CSK. So, look, I mean, every game's a tough game in this league. But, yeah, I think if they won that game against LSG, they would be here. And LSG would probably be here too. But the way the cookie crumbles, Harshal Patel mixed, uh, missed that man cad. And the jury's out. I don't know if they're going to be good. I don't know if they're going to be bad. You don't know yet. <laughs> and the last team, the auction specialists themselves... Sunrisers Hyderabad. Now, look, they did beat Punjab the other day. But how much do we want to give them credit for that? Not much because, look, we gave... No, we did not give them the win. But I don't know. I I, I, I don't know. To be honest, I, it's funny thinking about it now. In my predictions video, I had SRH, I believe, one spot above Rajasthan. And now, like three weeks later, I'm saying Rajasthan are the team to beat and SRH... Not really. Like, they've had the one win against us, which was great, but the other two games have been pumped by Rajasthan and the other game. I can't remember what happened in their other game, but it's really irrelevant, but we will have a look. Hold on. I can't. I, I have to remember. Any moment. Please, IPL. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, Wi-Fi. Just let me work. So they beat us, yeah. And then they... Oh, they lost to LSG in a smashing as well. So they've had two games... Where they have essentially just gotten absolutely pulverized. So, look, they got the one win. But if I'm an SRH fan, I am scared. Harry Brook is not looking good early. Uh, Trapathi looked great. Agarwal has looked okay. Abhishek Sharma has been in and out of the team for some reason. Washington Sundar has been pretty poor, in my opinion. Malik has been okay. boovie has been okay. And, I mean, they've got the man Mayank Makande, who's actually been quite good with the spin as well. So, I mean, they they almost kind of fit in there. But for now, I think they're I, I'd be pretty scared and I would be asking for their mum to come pick them up. So, hey, that is going to be my IPL rankings video after... What week is it? Well, it's just how many games have been played? There's been 16 games played, so... 16 games in, essentially two weeks, let's say. Let's go, you know, after about two and a half weeks into the season. These are my official team rankings of where I think everyone sits at the moment. If you have any different answers than me, comment them down below. Get debating. The one things that I might would have changed, you know, I think Gujarat are so close to being up here, but they did have that one very tough loss to Kolkata, so... King Rinku, he doesn't fuck around. Um, and then other than that, I think I've nailed it, to be honest. I don't, I, don't, I don't really feel like there's any other changes you could make here. So, hey, that is going to cap it off. Let me know what you guys are thinking. If you want to see me do this at least, you know, once or twice every second week, comment down below, leave a like, and I'll see everyone in the next one.